Gundam program. What's up guys? Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Today is sadly the last week of our Fit for Free program. Um, by now you should have plenty of exercises that you can do in the convenience of your own home, in a hotel room if you're traveling, on a beach if you're going on vacation, and so on. Um, workouts that require little to no equipment and not a lot of time, so then you have zero excuses to get, fil to get filthy to get healthy and stay fit. Um, today we are going to be doing workout number eight, our last workout, and it is my own leg day. Um, today I'm gonna be training unilateral legs. So what that means is I'm gonna be hitting it from one side at a time, really focusing on activating my glutes and my hamstrings, um, an area where I personally struggle. So if you struggle, um, really burning out your glutes, feeling it in your glutes, if um, you struggle growing your glutes, if one leg is significantly stronger or weaker than the other, then this type of training um, will be amazing for you and you should add it into your weekly routine. So what I'm going to do today is a unilateral workout using pretty much just dumbbells and resistance bands. So again, you can do this from the comfort of your own home and I hope that you guys will try it and I hope that you love it. So let's just go ahead and get started and work that booty. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am starting the workout off with split squats and doing three sets of 15 reps a side. With this exercise, you wanna have the front leg loaded and put all the weight in the back of that front leg. Really use your hamstrings and use your heels. Push through the heel and keep off of the toes of the standing leg. I am using two 20 pound dumbbells here to make it more challenging, but if you're just starting off, you can use body weight and you'll feel the burn just the same. Moving right into the next exercise, we're doing lateral step ups with the hold at the top. We are supersetting this workout, so I went right from split squats into step ups and then back and forth for three sets of 15 reps of each exercise. With this exercise, you want to make sure that your weight is in the outside of your leg and you control your glutes at the top of the movement and control on the way down. Moving on into our second super set, I'm doing single legged glute bridges off a bench. You can do this off a chair if you don't have a bench at home. You're going to keep all the weight in the acting leg. Control the down. Don't touch. Just hover. Push through the heel. Flex the hamstrings and flex the glutes at the top. Really trying to isolate those glutes and hamstrings again. We are moving into a single legged stiff deadlift. You're putting all your weight in the heel of the acting leg, controlling and squeezing your glutes at the top. Just make sure that you don't hyperextend your back. I am using a pole there just to stabilize myself. If you have good balance, you do not need to do this, but your weight will be in the opposing leg. For our last superset, we are doing a static lunge with a pause at the bottom. I'm using a yoga block here, but you can use a couple of stacked towels or a pillow, anything just so you have a little physical note to tell you where to stop and pause and then start again from the bottom. So the idea of the pause here is that you're taking the bounce out, taking the momentum, you're starting fresh at the bottom, really pushing into that front heel, into the hamstring, and controlling it into the glute at the top. If you want me to, cause we can Moving right along into our lateral squat with an abductor kick. I am using a resistance band around my shins here. If you don't have one of these infinity bands, you can just tie a resistance band around your shins. You want to step into the outer edge of the acting foot, squat down nice and low, and then kick to the side, activating those glutes. Please keep in mind these exercises are sped up and you really want to do them nice and slow and controlled. 
A quick reminder that with supersets, you don't want to take any breaks in between the two exercises. Once you're done two back to back, take a 30 second to a minute break and then repeat again. Last but not least, I always like to burn out my glutes at the end of all my leg and glute days. So here I am doing that with kickbacks using a band. Kick nice and slow and controlled. Squeeze your glutes at the top. If you don't have a band, you can do this kneeling with a dumbbell behind your knee. Try the workout guys, let me know what you think. All right guys, that's a wrap on our unilateral leg day. I am freaking exhausted. That was super challenging, but good, good. I feel that booty burn. I got that booty pump. I hope that you guys tried it and I hope that you liked it. <clears throat> For these types of workouts, you wanna make sure that you're rolling out after take like a good 15, 20 minutes to roll out your IT bands, your hamstrings, your quads, your glutes, your low back, because things are going to get tight. There's a lot of weight and pressure on one side at a time. So make sure you're taking care of it. I find my glutes get super, super tight, so with my lower back after these types of workouts. So make sure that you roll. Um, that is it for our fit for free workouts. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I hope you did them. If you haven't tried them yet, go back. It's on this playlist. Check them out. Try them all. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If there is anything else, that you would like to see, any videos you want me to do, any topics you want me to discuss, workouts, and so on, please leave it in the comments below. I'd be happy to do it. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.